we're here at the palace where all the lectures are being held for harmonic analysis and convex geometry. Here in España, or excuse me, aquí es España. Uh, shoot, I don't know my Spanish. Aquí in España, something like that. But anyway, I'm, we're on a giant peninsula. I don't wanna get hit by a car. We're on a giant peninsula where this palace is held at. There is no air conditioning, but there is a nice breeze. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's walk up to the edge. I don't know where my friend is, out of it, the first struggling grad student that I interviewed. But he's here. One of the grad students actually got food poisoning last night. I think he threw up once or twice. I'm not sure. I feel bad for him. But there's been a lot of interesting talks. I've been taking notes. I think some of the stuff will be relevant to my... Hold on, I don't want the wind to affect my microphone. I don't want to... Uh, uh, count my chickens before they hatch, but there's a lot of interesting topics that were discussed at the talks. And I think it might be um, relevant to my research or something that I might write in the near future. Because this PhD's got to be done in basically uh, two years. One year, really. I mean, we're talking about the fourth year. And I wanted to, but two years is probably more likely at this point. Hold on, let's see if we can zoom in on the city on the beach. This afternoon's talks, unfortunately, are just a poster poster session and uh, a virtual meeting. Or not a virtual meeting, but a virtual conference, which we were already given a handout of. So I know exactly everything he's going to talk about. And to be honest, I really just want to go back to the hotel room and record some measure theory videos. I'm struggling to find time to record them here because the whole day is basically just talk to this person, then talk to that person, then talk to this person. Check out that seagull. Which, you know, that's the whole point about graduate school. That's probably the untold or the best kept secret about graduate school is that pretty much your success in graduate school, like what you're gonna be doing later is based entirely on who you know and whether or not they can hook you up with a postdoc. Seagulls chilling on the beach or the shore, not so much a beach. But anyway, like I was saying, I think uh, there's a graduate student here He's about to finish his PhD, and it sounds to me like in a month he has to move out of his apartment, and he's going to accept a postdoc position uh, elsewhere. It's outside the US, not in Europe, but you know, Canada, other option. And I think the only reason that he's uh, got this postdoc position is because of basically who he knew. It came through his advisor who knew someone somewhere else because those postdoc positions are extremely hard to come by. You should not take them for granted. I want to take more footage of the city that we're in, not just the palace. They've got some really good food here in Spain. The way the waiters and waitresses work here is not the same as in the US, <laughs> I've discovered. Here, let's go look at the lighthouse over here. Kind of a nonsense video, but I wanted to at least mention something. What did I learn uh, from the past two days of being in Spain at these conferences? Uh, most of the time, research is like the most important thing you do, but the second most important thing I think is the, the networking. And because a lot of the people that are here are people I've met before at previous conferences and conferences before those. And that little network that you kind of develop 
is how you get those good jobs that are extremely hard to come by. Even if you're like getting a PhD and you're extremely smart, which I'm not, but even if like you're a top tier student and you're doing amazing research, if you're doing amazing research, then yeah, it probably won't hurt. But for most people, it's like, if you want that really good job, then you should know somebody with a really good job. I know I've said it a million times before on the channel, but because of how important it is, I want to repeat it again. You want to see out of it? No. No? Okay. <laughs> say, hey, well, come by and say hello and hello. say something. This is going on YouTube, so hello. be careful. He doesn't want his face on there, which is respectable. But anyway, so I don't know. Comment a question, I'll answer it. I don't really know what else to talk about. Just. I'm dreading the flight back to the U.S. is that is all I have to say because that uh, that's an eight-hour flight over open water and I don't mess with that but it should be okay <laughs>